Nance. She'll know how to draw a crowd. Call on her. Set up right under Arasaka's windows and crank it loud. Blast the pains out. It'll be a gig to remember. Oh my god, they're literally playing right outside Arasaka. We do not as yet have word on the exact number of people hurt in the riots. But our reporters are on the scene at Arasaka Tower. And they all agree. A psychoactive agent has been dispersed at the site, affecting those in the crowd. Alright. Who the hell is this guy? Tom's- Oh, it's you without glasses. <laughs> You recording this whole thing? Uh-huh. Why? Want to say a few words to the folks at home? Do what you gotta do. Just stay out of my way. He's got a Kang Tao camera. And something that looks a lot like a PCI riser. <laughs> Thompson. Know him well? No. Why does it matter? Don't like the guy? Don't trust him. And medias are bad luck. What? Bad luck. Say someone finds a tape later. A tape of us breaking into Arasaka Tower. Worry about that if we make it out. Come on, we don't have much time. I understand. Rogue's of right, course, but Johnny's an on. idiot. I don't have that kind of time. Gotta Stay find the here. main threat. Yeah. Great. Now focus. Uh, ready or not, here they come. Cameras! Johnny will also rush in like an idiot. Ah, uh, we make our own doors. I'll get it open. Cover me. We're being attacked. Cover you. I want to read that, but are we being attacked? Four Get two. ready. Headed this way. Four headed our Get way. ready. Shoot! Five seconds and we're in. Ready. Yes! Fucking own it! Turn off. Taking fire. Let's get to work. Page should not be displayed. Oh! Oh! Somebody wants to hack me. He has it! Right. Purple scum! Get back in it in a sec! Oh, I gotta go back a little bit, probably. That guy is a bit too far. It's camera. No. <sighs> so. Let's go then, boys and girls. Oh, J nearly shot you in the face, rogue. We're doing just fine. Well, we won. No surprise there. Minigun, spot it. We'll be able to let the straight up with you. It's already done. Great job, guys. Well, guess you are useful sometimes. Gotta be around here somewhere. Do we even know where she's being held? Sure, Watch out. Me? Come on. Uh. 
Come on, guys, get the turret. I can't really get it. I don't know how to hack. This is it. Fucking doors armored so thick we could use a tank. Solutions, anyone? Let me try. My silver hand. Son of a bitch! It doesn't look like it's the same nut as the bombing try then. This. Ah. Now I see why we brought him along. Three, two, one. Perfect. Best step back. Did you mean to say that before we blew it up, Rogue? I need to cover you! What? Dude, why are you in here already? I nearly shot you again! You've got a net for the floor. Dead, Corporal Scum. You're pretty tough, huh? Headshot and still not dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, this guy's like a boss. Not for long. Alt! Wait, who's inside? I'm too late. I would advise you not to disturb her. What'd you do to Alt? I put her to work on a project of a lifetime. Get out of my way. Alt, come on, don't do this! Is she...? Fuck! Johnny... The hell are you doing?! Are you still rolling?! This is all we can do now, my man. Won't change her! She is not... You have to kill him? And that's coming from the person who was suspicious of him. We gotta go. Johnny! She's dead. Well, spit it out before you burst. Thompson. What happened to him? Dunno. Never worked together again. Maybe because you whooped his ass to make yourself feel better. Guy was a vulture. Out to use all from the start. When Arasaka flatlined her, man, for him that was sprinkles with the cherry on top. Fuck, he would have killed her himself if they hadn't. Just for his cockrod story. The recording. What did Thompson do with it? Did it ever get released? Fuck no. Johnny didn't tell me anything about Alt besides mentioning her one time, right? As far as I can remember. Let's get out of here. Back in Judy's apartment. <laughs> but this is the this is what I really want to say. Wow. Were you going for douchebag of the year? And here I was, afraid you'd try to cheer me up. Well, what's not to like, Scout? Hmm? Would probably be easier if we started counting from what we actually liked about you. Uh, never mind. But you sure glossed over Alt earlier. Really? Any examples? I don't know. <laughs> that you were a couple, that she rode Soul Killer. That she's dead. She wrote Soul Killer. How the hell is she supposed to help us now? As a ghost. She's not dead. Managed to escape. I saw the body. Oh, into the net. Alt fled. Into the net. You're pushing bullshit. 
Heard more than my share of tales about runners who ran off to Never Never Netland. Just never thought you'd be the next to tell me one. Don't need you to believe me, long as you do exactly what I say. We're back in Arasaka Tower again. Remember we were like standing here and then Adam Smasher came down like that? When'd you find out? When she made contact a little later. And? What did she say? That she was a captive in the Arasaka subnet. But they couldn't hurt her. And she told me not to come looking for her. What? Why? This one time she wanted me to just let it go. Cause enough people had died for nothing already. So? What did you do? Got my hands on two thermonuclear charges. Oh! Then headed back to Arasaka Tower. Wait. So you didn't bomb Arasaka because you were some kind of rocker boy rebel. I mean, you did. So, ready? But the real reason is alt. Oh my god. And Rogue went with you. Again. I paid her well. Said it yourself, she was the best. Had her pick of contracts. But for some strange ass reason, oh, Johnny. she took a job from a rocker with a death wish. A rocker, forever getting his ass beat by Arasaka. Different times, kid. Back then, marks didn't normally sell out to corpse. All you had to do was yell, let's fuck up Arasaka, and every last one of them chizzed their pants. Rogue included. How do you know Alt's still around? It's been half a century. Which you've spent cloistered in Makoshi. Netwatch could have hunted her down years ago. Oh, they tried, believe me. But their tiny corporate brains can't handle a free AI that knows how people think. They were busy looking for her in the Crystal Palace while she was building the ghost city for Ken Tao. So she's considered an AI now because she doesn't have a body? Well, she's not really an AI, right? Because she's not artificial. Let's get out of here. But I, I see what you mean. She's digital. Voodoo boys think they know where she is. Beyond the black wall. Where nobody can touch her. And Brigitte's primed to go there. Break through. Just to contact Alt. Talk to her. ka -ching. It's just us talking here. What about the Voodoo boys? Well, that was a very long moment. Sure felt like more than a moment. Saw a good chunk of Johnny's life. And Alt. It is possible. Data connected to Alt are linked to a strong memory trace in the construct. Very strong. These memories must have evoked a powerful emotional response. Then projected onto your consciousness. Emotion, yeah. Plenty of that. Construct, what kind of shapes it in? Enough data is uncorrupted to convince Alt it is authentic. What the hell does that mean? Good enough. So, did it work? Yes. We extract the necessary fragment of Silverhand's Angron. We are ready now to make contact with Alt. First, we must dive deeper. We're gonna make contact with her right now? Beyond, there are no borders. Whoa. Beyond the black wall. Few have gone through to the other side. And none have yet returned. She will be the first. So, actually, you got no idea what's beyond that. But we will know soon. And these shapes I'm seeing. Wild, unfettered AI. Searching for a passage. I held up my end of our deal. Your turn. Before you pass through that wall, I want Johnny's psyche removed. We will not pass through. 
You will take the code to the other side. Because you don't know if it's going to be dangerous or not. Okay? Fuck. Might have guessed. Never had any intention of helping me, did you? It does not matter anymore. You will bring all to its end. Don't got much for options, do I? Ali. Okay. How do I get to the other side? Brigitte? I'm already there. Whoa, whoa. Johnny. You cannot remain here. Old Cunningham. Joris. Yap attacking network lab. What the hell's going on? They breached our BBSs. We have nothing to do with this. Netwatch. Oh. Did we get kicked out? Netwatch cannot touch me here. It's really you. What happened out there? Couldn't just take him out? Netwatch was well prepared this time. Gotta be Mosley the fucker. What if Brigitte and the Voodoo Boys? I was forced to purge them. Netwatch was exploiting their BBS. Purge? You mean they're dead, all of them? Not actually gonna feel bad for them, are you? I, I feel bad for me when Placide finds out. Damn it. I brought Netwatch here. Agent I dealt with must have slipped me a tracker that let him right in. Switch things up on the sly, replacing the Voodoo's virus with his own brand of rot. Probably how they got to you. It matters not. The entire subnet was destroyed. Alt, you pulled us out of there. That mean you and us, we're okay? Everything's chill? I have recognized your engram code, but I do not know why you are here. So you can pay me back for getting you out of our socket tower. V, this is Alt. Best net runner night city's ever seen. Alt, this is V. You need to save her life. The relic. It's killing me. Construct on it's worming its way through my neural system. I see this, but why is it my problem? That's a good point. Why the fuck isn't it? You created Soul Killer. You handed Arasaka a fucking super weapon that dismantled me, you, and half the runners in Night City. Your death was of your own making. Jesus, Alt, I dove in after you. Gonna tell me now this ain't your problem? It is not. The Alt Cunningham you strove to save in Arasaka Tower no longer exists. This should be obvious to you, as you were responsible for her death. It's kind of like how Johnny is an engram now. It's not really him. This is not really the Alt that he knows. Your projection. You're not Alt. Who are you? I use her engrammatic data. Really? You find this icy bitch aspect in there, too? Your death wasn't Johnny's fault. How could you know? Seen you in his memories. It was an accident. What you saw was his subjective view of what happened. A warped account of events he locked away in his subconscious and replayed time and again. It bears no resemblance to the truth. Can you show me the truth? Mind unloading this baggage later? Wasn't sure what to expect from a meeting with an AI, but it sure wasn't a digital spat. How's that help me exactly? Well, it didn't make it any worse. Okay, I get it. You hate Johnny's guts, but what about me? I cannot help you. Can't or won't? Can't. To attempt to do so, I would need access to more advanced technology. 
What? It's your tech you created, Soul Killer. The program I created has little in common with how Arasaka has since repurposed it. Fine, so how about Mikoshi? That advanced enough for you? If I could gain access to Mikoshi, it would cease to exist. Good, we can work with that. We'll get you inside Mikoshi and you'll help V, deal? Johnny has been talking about this Mikoshi thing for a while, but it hasn't come up yet. Best runner Night City's ever seen can't bust into Mikoshi on her own? I am a well-known threat there. They have a layer of black ice with my name on it. Literally. Kinda like a custom-made prison jumpsuit. I refuse to be caged in there ever again. What can you do for me, exactly? Everyone I've met so far says I'm too far gone. By everyone, you mean Hellman? Saburo's personal ass munch? With the Soul Killer resident inside Mikoshi, I will create a construct of you, then disentangle your neural network from Johnny's. I shall then inject your engram back into your mortal form. That sounds a lot like becoming what Johnny is right now. Does that even work like that? I don't wanna... Ugh. Your appearance here, an unnecessary risk. So, you'll save my life, but flatline me along the way. Your consciousness, neural engrams, will be recorded as data. The rest will cease to exist. The rest? The soul. I did not grant the program its name, but Soul Killer does precisely what it promises to do. Christ, I don't want to listen to this bullshit. V just hops back into her body, right? Nothing changes. Everything changes. You know this well. Right, so we got a plan. But how will you reach Mikoshi? I've created armies that failed to breach it. They were children of the net. There's your problem. We're banking on the human factor. V's got a big dusty nomad family. And they'll do anything for her. We'll crack a window, slip you into Makoshi. Johnny embellishes, in case you hadn't noticed. You don't trust him, which is fine. But you have my word we'll slip you inside Makoshi while keeping you out of harm's way. I believe this human factor and I have things in common. So, we agreed? Yes, we are agreed. Find a path into Mikoshi. I shall prepare a program to help you navigate the local net. How will I contact you once I'm ready? This is a BBS address. It will be our secure communication channel. Alt, before you leave, we gotta talk. Just you and me. No, that will not be possible. She doesn't want to hear your shit, Johnny. <laughs> Okay, what's happening in the real world? Couldn't think of a more fitting end. Runner Fox had it coming. Oh, shh. They've all been purged. As much as it tickles me, too, we got a Delta. Right, still got Mr. Grumps left. Well, apparently the Netwatch agent... Well, it doesn't mean he didn't wipe the the virus the voodoo boy virus from me but he also added his own tracker it's a necessary evil it's just how it is i'm taking all of their net running suits silverhand the creator and destroyer of samurai hidden somewhere between all the arasaka propaganda and silverhand's own self-curated image there exists a real story behind the frontman of samurai the fact of the matter is no one truly cared to find it. Labels, legends, slogans to chant, that's all anyone ever wanted from him. But by digging meticulously into all of the dirty details of his life, all of the inconsistencies and exaggeration come to light. One of the biggest gaps in Silverhand's life was the period he spent with nomad communities. Hidden from civilization, Johnny could have acted like himself and removed the mask he wears in public. If the world could get testimonies from the people who had contact with Johnny during this period, not only would every biographer be grateful, but more importantly, experts might have a real chance to offer a clinical diagnosis for one of the rock scene's most iconic personalities. Because we're sure something is wrong. <laughs> Informational Bulletin 
a recent taken by Network Security Services, NW Alistair Division, dealt another serious blow to subversive factors that threaten public security. Ten crates of illegal equipment, corrupted with a Humeros 3 demon, were secured and five suspected netrunners are now behind bars. We continue to call on you, the public, to report any suspicious net activity. It's up to everyone to contribute and make the place safe and free. Yada yada yada. So what about the other net runners? Delivery data error to Maglev. Deliveries ready for pickup, same place. Sigs are clean. Ducey packed up the stall. Something must have happened. Should I ask? Jack Mill to Mirabalis. Mirabalis. The generator overheated this time. Cooked the pistons. Send Marcel to see what went wrong with cooling. You don't need me for this. Hmm. Well, all right. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Last souvenir before we leave here. Oh, beautiful. Great. We have the time, we can look around. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, what about this side? It's like a different component of the... The train. Alright. They gotta make this place all spooky looking. Whoa. Ah. Uh... Have they not realized everybody inside is dead? No, it made no noise. Nothing even seemed like it happened. We should go all out. We should go all out. Great. Placide! Placide is coming. <laughs> Someone just tripped. Come in, lady. Dude. This is my stealth gun, but it still works kind of well. Uh, why is my... Why is my health zero? Someone hacking me? A hack that lets me not know about my own situation, I'm guessing? I'm guessing that expires when the snowflake goes away. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we've read this one. Blaming Bart Moss. Just gonna wait a sec so we can see our health. No? Oh my god, is that a bug or- Oh, maybe I'm just invincible right now. Or? I don't know. I don't know, man. Gun is a little bit slow. Not my favorite kind of gun, but it does nice headshots. Hey, what about this thing? I could open it, right? Oh, but there's nothing in here. It's just a place. Is that Placid? Oh my god. 
Damn, Placid, I thought you were tough. You got done in my one shot. I'll have that. Thank you very much. Should I kill you? <laughs> I'll let you live. You know what, actually? Should I let you live? No. Better safe than sorry. You were gonna hack me. Earth Reborn. Our world is a world of people. Mankind has effectively eradicated any supernatural beings. Mythical beings, folkloric creatures, gods, even the monotheistic god. Mankind has even given up hope of contact with extraterrestrial civilizations. The little green men have been among us for some time already. Paying us visits in their flying saucers. Only man remains, and man looked around and realized he was alone. In his loneliness, man felt the emptiness within him and started to repopulate it with beings other than himself. That is how artificial intelligence was created, from simple deterministic robots obedient to their human masters, to becoming more intelligent and independent than man could ever conceive. The unpredictability and power of artificial intelligence was greeted by man with apprehension, but also with joy. Finally, spirits and elemental forces have once again returned to our world. We could catalog them, construct a hierarchy, we can fence them off behind the black wall and draw a new line between what is natural and supernatural. Here is the earth and here is the sky. How painful man's solitude must have been if he had to create a palpable technological mythology and surrender to the demons of his own creation. It's like a creation myth, but Netrunner edition. Is that guy- Oh, I never tried using this before, by the way. The confession thing. I confessed for six dollars. I am now free of my sins. Is that it? Your sins have been forgiven for six dollars. Oh my god, that is such a ripoff. Ooh, ooh, jeez. Yo, is Johnny taking over? That the bio chip. No, it's you, you asshole. Killing me little by little every damn day. Little by little is not my style. It's the chip. It's our Saka. Fuck! That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flat lining while we got a job to do. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka, blah, blah. Smash Makoshi. You really are turning into me. I'm smoking. No. Can't say I'm excited, because you're a manipulator, an egotist, and a cynic. Every time you open your mouth, you gotta bury someone. You know, we get along as the need arises. Maybe it's time you started trusting me more. That wasn't good. He was slowly taking control. He could make me get a cigarette out. So, you ready? I don't hate you. You're just a douchebag, that's all. Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. <laughs> that's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Easy for you to say when you're a shitty Engram. Bullshit. <clears throat> Nothing dignifying in suffering. Death. Not how legends are born. I picked the wrong one, actually. <laughs> but I didn't have time. I would have rather said maybe. <sighs> what was it like when you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? 
have a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time, didn't mark it, did what they wanted to me. I just remember cold, black void, fear. Or, or was that your death? Was Johnny still awake the whole time when he was in the chip before I came along? I think so, right? Makoshi, why did Arasaka even build it? If I could only see inside Saburo's head. Ah. People can be bought, brainwashed, but it's only in Makoshi that you can peer inside a soul, pick it apart, reprogram it. They've amassed quite a collection. Scary talented runners, soul killed, packed away, probably using them now, probably controlling him. So, rule in hearts and minds, that's what it's about. Uh, the usual. Corps have always tried to shackle people one way or another. Saburo's ambition is greater. He's out to control humanity. Oh. I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corps wreak around the world, what happens at Makoshi is worst. Know why? Because you're trapped there forever. It's eternal. No, nothing's eternal. And for the Psyches and Mikoshi, no such thing as the passage of time. Worse things when they switch up your identity, and you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what Arasaka's doing at Mikoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. Well. I love how nobody around seemed to care. Is my health okay? I'm like zero out of zero right now. Woo, guessing people won't be praying at this church for a while. Are we gonna see Mozzie again? I don't know. Maybe. I took down a lot of people from the Voodoo Boys. And it doesn't seem like we have a need to stay in this place anymore. Well, to do quests, yeah, but in terms of, like, needing information from them, we're done. The percentage has changed. 75. Respect. So this is what it feels like, walking into the afterlife like you built it. High-fiving a random punk who knows your name, getting a drink on the house, or a discount at a ripper docks. Sure, they might be small things, but it all adds up to something bigger. One thing's for damn sure, you're not just some nobody anymore. I feel like a nobody. Johnny wants you to find a way into Mikoshi, an Arasaka soul prison, for constructs where you can undergo a procedure to separate yourself from Silverhand. Once that's over, he wants to celebrate by blowing up Mikoshi and freeing the constructs. It's a gnat shit crazy plan, but what's the alternative? You're learning more and more about the biochip, but are still nowhere close to having it removed without getting yourself killed in the process. And with blackouts and glitches becoming more frequent, the lookout, the outlook, isn't exactly the sunniest. The race against time has started, with the stakes being no less than your life. Haha, <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. Anything we can read? That's semi-relevant? Atlantis. Just as it is difficult today to imagine the fabric of Night City without the afterlife, so it was in the 2020s with Atlantis. Atlantis was the central hub of information dealing, merc work, and professional favors. Those who still remember the club, which has long since been closed, say the afterlife is a poor imitation, stained by posers, that doesn't hold a candle to the atmosphere of authenticity. Atlantis once boasted. Of course, when people reach a certain age, they tend to make claims of that sort about the old days. But one claim that does contain a nugget of truth 
is that the Atlantis welcomed a more diverse and wilder crowd. Not only would you encounter mercenaries and fixers with established street cred, but you could rub elbows with con artists, swindlers, 15-minute celebs, long-forgotten legends, rockers, washed-up pop icons, off-the-clock cops, dream dealers, spies. Back in those days, there was no rep check to walk through that front door. Whether you walked back out under your own power was a different matter. Back then, people thought it was going to be eternal, but it's not. Nothing is eternal. Well, very few things are. Yeah, nothing too relevant for now.